Hi guys. Today I'm going to show you how I make my fufu from cabbage. So I've tried it several times and I really love it. So just keep on watching and please subscribe to my video so you can see other things that I make. So since I discovered, it's not discovered, I didn't discover it, but since I saw this on YouTube, I tried it and I really loved it and I, been, I've made it, uh, you know, in different ways. I've also tried different uh, kinds of vegetables uh, to make it and uh, this is one of my favorites. So if you check my channel, you are going to see other ways I've done something like this, other kinds of things are vegetables. And I hope you are going to love it. So, as you can see in my video, I first of all just cut the cabbage and I grate it. I like to grate it before I grind it in blender. Mostly so that um, it's easier on the blender. If you wish, you can just cut, uh, chop the cabbage into pieces and then uh, put them in the blender and the blend. But for me, I prefer to first of all break it uh, before I then dump it into the blender to blend. So just keep on watching and I hope you're going to love the way I do this. One thing you can find that you might have seen is that this uh, cabbage is very very fresh and that feel very green, like very green. So that's what I realized, which is I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that after making it, I just saw like uh, some uh, a bit uh, pieces of a uh, greenish, uh, you know, stuff in uh, the fufu, so which is not bad. I prefer that it was uh, very very fresh. So because it's fresh, it contains a lot of water also, as you can imagine. So after grating, like I said, I just uh, uh, scoop some into my blender. My blender is not the biggest, so. I have to repeat this, like, uh, it, depends, it depends on the amount of uh, people I'm trying to make anyway, so in this case I had to, I think I, I, I did it like, uh, I had to do it like three times, I had to grind it like three times, so once uh, you put it in the blender, you just pour some water there, you just pour some water again to make it easier to blend. Just cover it and blend it very well. It's just as simple as that. Uh, since I started doing this, I, although I would say that it's a bit of uh, work, but I don't know. Because I like to be quite open, so the fact that I can make it uh, from vegetables, but uh, it is not a very long. So I'm uh, not really comfortable so. And uh, it's, uh, it's actually like a uh, uh, it. It's like you have to go through several processes uh, to make it. But, uh, and uh, it's not the kind of food you make and leave it uh, for a long time. So after grinding it, you just pour it into a sieve and sieve it. Like I said, this is really very fresh uh, cabbage. So it contains so much water. So, but, um, you know, so I'm putting the, uh, I'm trying to blend uh, the second one, or the, the second part. Now I should have put everything, but again, it's a quite, uh, my blender is not so huge. And uh, if I would put so much, then it means that uh, the blender might uh, it might not blend. So I had to divide the remaining one into two portions. And um, what I did now, I added the water from the one that I sieved already. So I didn't need to add a new water. So I added this water, which obviously seems to be enough. So by doing this, I have to conserve water. So
So just cover it and uh, blend. See, it's uh, my sieve is a bit uh, not so big. Again, just like my blender is not so big. So, but I had to manage to do it. Oh, by the way, uh, what you could do is to just do this using a cheesecloth, which I have, but I don't like to use the cheesecloth because I just feel like it would be more difficult. To do. So now I'm blending the like kind of uh, back to the cheese cloth, like I said, you could use it, but I prefer using the sieve, and this is the reason. The reason I use the uh, this sieve is that uh, because I uh, I don't really want to want all the water to go away. I still want it to be moist, and the reason I want it to be moist before cooking is that uh, I like to cook it a bit longer, so that. Um, the because it has a certain smell this uh, cabbage has a certain smell that i really don't uh, love even though i drink the water sometimes yeah not the best uh, you know thing to do not the sweetest thing to drink it's really difficult to drink it i do drink it sometimes but still i still don't like this uh, the smell that it has so when i'm sieving it i make sure that uh, you know like i conserve some it, it, it retains some water so that, uh, like I said, I will be able to cook it longer without it burning on the fire or on the stove. So, just uh, you can use uh, the you know some whatever you have to sieve it. It doesn't have to be something similar to what I got. So uh, now it's getting a bit difficult because. Uh, my sieve is not, uh, you know, again, it's not so, so big. So the way it looks now, I just keep on doing the same thing. I just keep on doing it and uh, the more I do it, the more it reduces the water. The more it reduces the water, the way it is now, I could just start uh, cooking it. So now I dump it into the, into the pot. So as you can see, it's still quite moist. Trying to get everything out. So the way it is now, you can just keep on, you, keep, you just uh, keep on turning it. Just be careful, the heat uh, I put it, uh, I set it to low, so that it doesn't get burnt obviously. So, you see the way it looks. So I set the heat low, as you can see, the heat is quite low. So after turning it uh, very well, so what I normally do, I just cover it and just, just, I just come back like a one, two minutes later to check it. So this part is really important to uh, keep on checking it on a regular basis and then make sure the stove is set to low. Like I said, this is really like a lot of work to, to do. After that, it's like uh, so many things to clean, so many things to wash, but again, I enjoy doing it. So I check it again, it's cooking. 
So what I do is, uh, what I've got now is probably like three portions for me. So which is huge. Normally I make something that could be like uh, two portions. So I eat one after uh, the, the same day uh, that I made it. I eat the, the remaining one the next day. So now in order to uh, make it hold together, I add two spoons of uh, ground uh, oats, ground oats. So I already had it, uh, I grinded it, I put it in a container, I keep it, so I use it whenever I want. So I added two spoons. What happens as you turn it to decide if you want to add more or not. So what I did now, I added a half spoon. So in total, I added, uh, okay, like, like less than three spoons. When you consider, like I said, this food is like uh, three uh, portions. So adding less than three uh, spoons of uh, oatmeal, that's not a lot. So the good thing is that when you eat this, you are actually eating vegetables, isn't it? So I think um, for those who want to lose weight, maybe it's a good idea to eat this because you have the same feeling like you ate Gary or other, other things that you typically eat. So the same, no difference. Just make it uh, to be, you know, just try to make it right. If you want to add more, um, make it even harder. You can add more, uh, more ground oat. Or if you want actually, you could use something else to make, uh, to thicken it. Like uh, Salem, for example. You could use it, but for me, I prefer to use this. So, when you check my channel, you are going to see other things that I've used to make this. You are going to love it. So please subscribe to my channel. You are going to see more things that I make uh, on a regular basis. Very simple food. Food doesn't need to be complicated, to be honest with you. So and I enjoy making it. So thank you for watching. And uh, see you next time.